All right, good morning, folks. It is the AM Icebreaker for Thursday, April 5th, and I hope you're winding up your week solidly. Hope it was a, hope it was a good week. Uh, hope you guys got a lot of stuff done, or if you're on vacation, hope you, uh, you rested and recovered hard. Uh, if not, you know, you still obviously get back on it, you know, do what you need to do, you know, you know, you know the drill, figure out what the one thing you do in the next hour, the next day, and hey, over the weekend, you know, give yourself the weekend to figure out what you want to do, or maybe if you've, if you've earned a good, if you earned some time off, take that time off and, and enjoy it, come back Monday and, and uh, crush it, I know uh, I've got a, I've got some serious work that uh, I'm going to be doing this weekend, we're actually starting open mats at uh, RGS, Henzo Gracie Seattle, excited about that, so I'm going to drill a little bit with um, my buddy Gordon, now we're going down to 10th Planet Portland uh, Sunday to where I'm sure i'm just gonna get smashed so i'm looking forward to that and uh yeah so i hope you guys have fun weekend plans too um major item of business today i am going on a podcast in a little bit with the steel mace warrior um i'll throw up uh, all of her information and you should absolutely add her on on social media if you want to follow for good good mace tips uh good nutrition advice good training advice and just general positivity because like i've said a million times you can make your social media whatever you want to. You can make it a source of education and positivity, or you can make it a source of drama and negativity. I, I choose the former, and I hope you do too. So to that, uh, you know, I just if you guys have any questions, whether it's about Viking Ninja, whether it's about mobility training, whether it's about continuing education, whether it's about nutrition, whether it's about general fitness, um, either, you know, hit me up here, leave a comment, leave a comment on YouTube, leave a comment on Facebook, wherever you're watching this, DM me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, let's talk, because I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear what it is you guys want to talk about. I think the overarching conversation is we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, a lot about movement, but mainly about kind of natural movement. I might get into a little bit of rewilding type stuff, or what we call like kind of what uh, my buddy James Broderick of Ancestral Health Radio calls transitions, which I, which is kind of sort of a, a more modern take on, on this whole rewilding idea. But uh, like I said, I'll talk about anything. So whatever it is you guys want to hear about, uh, hit me up. And uh, speaking of talking about anything, back to, um, well, you know, I, I, I didn't want to talk about this, but uh, I, I'm going to a little bit. And, and I'm going to ask you guys a favor. So you guys all know that there was, and this is not fitness related, it's, it's kind of just general social stuff. But so a lot of you guys know there were some shootings, there, there was a shooting at, at YouTube HQ um, this week. And it was because of, you know, we, we'll, we'll never know why. I mean, the, the people are postulating that, oh, you know, this this is a, a, a woman who was, who was, uns- you know, who, who was very upset about changes to YouTube's policy. And, you know, she had kind of, you know, maybe built up, built up YouTube to be kind of maybe her way out, her, her, her platform, her success. And she wasn't seeing that. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get into the whole like mental illness, mental, that, that's a whole other conversation. And that's actually not the point of what, what I want to talk about. What I, what I want to ask you guys though is and this is something that i've that i've you know me being me me being done doing the training that i've done being around some of the people i've been around um this is something i always think about i mean ever since i started working in big tech you know, i was at microsoft and i was at google and i was at intel you know i always it, you know it was no i i didn't have any fantasies about the idea that we were safe you know i, I knew yeah we're just be just by virtue of the, who what this company is and does you know you we're a target this this is potentially going to happen so that it actually happened at YouTube HQ, and I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not saying, oh, I told you so. I'm just saying that's probably something we should have all been aware of. And I guess related to what's been going on at Facebook, which some of you guys know about. Well, I, I don't. Well, from what I've seen on social media, most people actually don't know. I'm not here to enlighten you on that either. But um, Facebook is now in a position where. I think it's very real that this is something we're going to have to deal with. You know, here in here in Seattle, I think our building is rather secure. It is very easy to get to, but I, I think we'll be all right for the most part. But what I'm going to ask you guys is to please do your homework and don't spread false information. Um, I don't think I saw a single accurate report about what had happened at Facebook as far as the whole, you know, the Cambridge Analytica thing. And the thing is there were outlets that were reporting what actually happened. Um, so, it, you know, if, if, it, if you actually really care about knowing the truth, um, you, you could have found it out. But, you know, I get it. it it's, it's, instead, it's the cool thing to, to, to bash Facebook on Facebook, right? Like, you know, we're, we're going to talk about how much we hate capitalism and, and social media by posting on social media from our iPhones, right? Um, so I guess what I'm asking you guys to do is please stay informed and don't spread misinformation, especially misinformation that's going to contribute to 
contribute to to the harming of people's safety. Now, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to get on the insightful speech platform. I'm not going to say censor yourself. I'm just going to say make sure that what you're saying is informed. Um, like I said, in, and I, and I think we've, we've seen this in the last couple of years, there's always two sides. There's always a middle. The extremes are always going to have very loud voices, and it's very easy to gravitate towards those extremes, especially when there's confirmation bias there. But let's all try and be the intelligent people that we are and come back to the center and maybe have our own our own opinion based on some of our own hopefully extensive research all right sorry you know i didn't want to get very heavy today but this is this is basically what's been on my mind for the last day and a half now and uh yeah, I just want to put put that out there to you folks, you know, like usually I'm I'm not the kind of guy that like likes to chastise or come to people and you know, you know, hmm, but I, I felt, you know, usually I stay quiet about these things, but but now 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 it's kind of like on my front door. Uh, I, I I felt like I had to say something. So all right, but back to positive stuff. Like I said, leave me questions about <clears throat> that you'd like to hear me discuss with uh, the Steel Mace Warrior today, and uh, yeah, peace. Thanks, guys.